Welcome to Life Transformation Radio. This show is all about life transformations and our journey from where we were to why we are doing what we are doing today. We will discuss the hiccups, the roller coasters, and the blood, sweat, and tears that has been poured out while discovering our purpose. It is all about our transformation. Here is your host, Sean Douglas. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to another live edition of Life Transformation Radio. I am your host, Master Resilience Implementer, TEDx Speaker, Business Positioning Strategist, and International Best-Selling Author, Sean Douglas. This show is currently heard in over 79 countries. So whether it's your first time joining us or you've been listening to us for some time, I want to thank you to those who are listening from around the world. Life Transformation Radio is all about our transformation. Here, we tell the stories of why we're doing what we're doing. We highlight that transformational moment that changed our lives and how we use it to then transform others and elevate their lives as well. You can listen to us live right here on the Blog Talk Radio Network, Tuesday through Friday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You can join our Facebook group, Life Transformation Radio radio community and never miss an episode by subscribing wherever it is that you prefer to listen to podcasts life transformation radio can be heard on apple Podcasts, stitcher spreaker spotify tune in player fm radio public overcast Castbox, himalaya app the google play music app and now available on pandora you can also subscribe to the life transformation radio community youtube channel go to youtube and search for life transformation radio and subscribe to our channel be sure to leave us a rating and review as well on the show my guests are entrepreneurs speakers business owners coaches podcasters authors amazing human beings that are impacting the world around them and my guest today who is back once more as a repeat guest which is rare everybody i only bring the best back to my show so he is back and this topic that we're going to talk about today is super super timely if you have any questions for any of the guests that are bring on the show during our live broadcast you can call us up at 657-383-1109 again the number is 657-383-1109 and with that please Help me welcome my friend and our guest to t- for today, Chip Helm. Chip, welcome to Life Transformation Radio. Thank you, Sean. It's a pleasure to be on your uh, uh, show again, as you said. I think it's been in, what, about a year, uh, year and a half ago, right? Something like that. Uh, yeah, man. The show was back on March 15th of 2019. If you want to go back and listen to the episode, it was season three last Last year, March 15th, and the show was called Everyday Sales Wisdom with Chip Helm, and he laid the hammer down on everyday sales tips, techniques, and strategies that you could use right now to literally, if you go back to the show, I think it's pretty relevant still, but you literally use these techniques to increase sales. So today... We're going to use some of those tips and techniques, and we're going to increase your sales right here, increase your sales, and it's online sales because everybody's quarantined right now. So that's what we're going to talk about today, and Chip, you can take it away. Well, I mean, uh, Sean, I'm not sure where we begin. First of all, being at home and being quarantined, like you said, it makes a difference. That's, I'm so used to being face-to-face. And I'm just used to yep. uh, those kind of conversations one-on-one. So it definitely has been changing. It's, it's a changing world to be able to sit here and talk to you and do this, as I guess I would call it virtually, but a virtual uh, type of conversation in a sense, because I'd much rather be in front of you. I'd much rather be talking to you about, <laughs> uh, you know, everyday sales wisdoms or just how to increase sales. Uh, you know, I mean, I guess you could say from your home uh, at this point. So. Yeah, so it's very super interesting that you say that because everybody is saying that. 
man, I'd rather be at a live event or, man, I'd rather speak to you in person or I'd rather, you know. And my suspicion is that what we're going to see and what we have been seeing is that the people who have the infrastructure set up, the people who have it together, so to speak, are going to be thriving. And those that are real loud on social media, I call them Facebook preneurs. Those people who are real loud, who are taking pictures in front of their jets, who are uh, taking pictures with all kinds of cash, you know, they're going to get real quiet and they're going to get smoked out because all the fake people, all the people that are um, scam artists and ripping people off and, you know, all that, they're going to get smoked out. They're going to get found out. And the people who have their stuff together, who have a lead generation strategy, they have a sales system, they have things to sell, those people are going to be the one that's thriving, not the other way around. Well, you make an interesting comment because I think that's where the world is going right now, and I think we have to learn more to do things, uh, as I would call it, from a distance and, and be able to still teach and coach and mentor and, um, you know, use what we have, use what tools we have right now. People aren't used to this. They're not used to being able to, you know, get on and do a webcast or do a WebEx and, you know, and, and do Zooms and, uh, you know, get on phone conversations and, uh, you know, do things from, a, you know, without people uh, really being able to see them. So I think in a sense it's, yep. uh, it's a changing guard, but it's really, you make a really strong point. <laughs> if you're walking the walk and you're talking to talk and you know your stuff, it doesn't matter if you're not, you know, in front of somebody. You can still impact people. You can still influence people and you can still make things happen. And you can still help them drive wherever they want, whether or not their sales numbers or, you know, what is it they want to drive revenue? Maybe maybe it's a company or maybe it's, a, you know, where they want to go in life. But you could still drive it very, very successfully from, you know, I keep using the word from a distance because I'm a person. I'm a face-to-face. I'm a touchy-feely kind of person. So that's not going to happen for probably for a long time to come. <laughs> Right, right, right. So for those that are stuck in their house and they're trying to build this online business before, Mm -hmm. because what I suspect and from the conversations that I've had prior to, let's say last year, October, November, December, we were having conversations with people. You would be surprised at how many people are on social media talking about how they get so much business and they're so amazing and they're this awesome entrepreneur and blah, blah, blah. Come to find out they're actually a side hustle entrepreneur. They actually have a full-time job. I know somebody right off the bat who I was coaching. I was like, wait, you have a job? He's like, yeah, I work at FedEx. I'm like, what the hell? Like all you talk about is your entrepreneurship. He's like, well, I'm trying to grow it. I'm trying to like, bro, do many people are just like you? They have a job? But they're not flaunting all their entrepreneur stuff. They're telling their story about how it's a side hustle. I know a guy who literally wrote a book about how to become a side hustle millionaire. His name is Tony Watley. He wrote a book called Side Hustle Millionaire. He doesn't make any bones about it that he had a job that he was working at the same time as his entrepreneurship. I I talk about being in the military while doing my podcast and launching podcasts and like all that stuff, you know? So, dude. You can do this. Tell your story about what you're doing to build your side hustle to get rid of your nine to five. That's what everybody needs to be talking about. He goes, oh, I thought they would look less of me. I'm like, dude, they're going to look more on you because you're doing two things, not one. So I think it's super interesting that that people right now who lose their jobs have more than enough there to, to work their um, – what you call to work their side hustles, to work their, their online businesses that maybe while they're at work, they don't get a chance to do that. Yeah. I mean, you bring up a good point. I mean, first let's go back to, you know, having a day gig. Yeah. I have a day gig and uh, I'm glad I have a day gig. I'm fortunate to have a day gig, but, uh, but I've been taught and I've learned from my experience that from the day gig, like you're, you're in the military and all the things you've done and trying to, uh, 
you know, be multitasking. Well, you know what? I've learned a lot. We've all learned a lot from that, uh, our day gigs, and that helps us be better mm-hmm. at our side hustles. It helps us be more effective and efficient. It really gives you more credibility to some, to some regards. In some regards, if you've had that day gig, have it, had it, are still in it, and I'm still in it, it really continues to teach me, and I still continue to grow because I'm in the fire every day. So I'm using that fire and what I'm learning for my side hustle, you know, for my being able to hopefully share more, mentor more, and and talk to people more about, you know, how whatever you do in your life, you know, you're in sales, and what does that mean, and what kind of career path do you want to take, and how do you want to get from A to Z, and, you know, so I really believe that there's nothing wrong to have both, to be able to have a side hustle, as you say, as, as well as having a, you know, uh, a day job or a day gig. So I really think that's really important to understand that that credibility rises to me when I hear that people mm-hmm. are doing other things and have other things that they're working on besides just you know, whether or not it's been a speaker or a consultant or uh you know, or go getter, or, or whatever it is. Because you're right, you made a, 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 not everyone in this business uh, uh, makes a big financial stipend or a big financial piece of, you know, out there. They don't. I mean, some do. Some do better than others. You know, yours truly. I'm speaking to someone right now. Sean does. Sean does a hell of a job, and and is you know uh, makes a difference in this world. Well, you know what? There's not that many Shans in the world and so Mm -hmm. that's what i'm trying to say too i mean so i I just i just really believe that i think that you can continue to learn more by you know continuing to work and have other uh things you're doing now what you just said was right okay so what happens if you lose your job or temporarily you lost your job yes does it give you more time yeah that means you better pull up the old baby pants pull up your pants it says you better work hard at it, okay? Let's pull up your pants and let's get going. Because just because you got downtime, that means you can wise up and you can fine-tune your skills and fine-tune your opportunities to be, you know, to be better at that side job or that side hustle. So uh, what, I mean, what I call pull up your baby pants, I guess, you know. And, uh, you know, there's no reason to feel sorry for anybody right now. You know, everyone's in the same boat around this country today. If you do, then obviously I'm sorry that you have, but you also have an opportunity now to really go forward and try to fine-tune, you know, what you want to do in your, as I call it, maybe your second life. You know, so I think there's some great opportunities right now. So So how do we increase sales online stuck in our house? Is it any different than – if it were in person, because I feel like you still need to solve a problem. You still got to have something to sell. You still got to market. You still have to use, you know, certain words and you know what I mean? So I know that talking to people, they're not doing real well. They're just like, I know people that are like, yeah, I'm probably going to have to get a job because this is not working now, you know? And then we start seeing online courses like, go ahead. No, go ahead. You're, you're just walking down the yeah. right road. Keep going, and then I'll I'll answer. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll throw out a comment. Well, we we see you know online courses coming out like recession proof your business, or the newest one I saw said COVID nineteen your business. I'm like, oh my god, here we go, here we go. You know, like first of all, if you had great foundations and you knew what the hell you were doing, you wouldn't have to recession proof anything because your business would be already recession proof. Like that's that's like saying. Let's put a roof on the house after it rains. Like, no, a roof comes with the house because you need to protect, right? Don't like, and the same way you only get an ADT alarm system after a break in. Well, then why don't you just get an alarm system for your house anyways? Like, prevent, right? It's prevent. I believe in preventative maintenance. That's what I believe in. I believe preventative maintenance is what wins all. And right now, the a lot of people doing some doing some some plunging and some and some bucket throwing. You know, they're 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 bailing out. You know, they got the buckets. They're bailing water with their bucket. You know, and and the people who got their stuff figured out. You know, their infrastructure and they have their systems set up. You know, are cruising right now. That's what I think. Well, a couple things you you said a lot there. One, how do you increase sales? And let's go back. We'll go back to the increasing sales. 
you know what? You know, people okay. right now can still get on the phone. People right now can still text and email and, and reach out to customers and reach out. Still have the opportunity to um, sell, sell yourself, sell whatever widgets, sell whatever concepts. So this stuff about, you know, being at home or, you know, tidying up or whatever, you can still increase and drive revenue in your business right now. It just means you've got to fine-tune your phone skills. You've got to get on the phone more. Maybe that's something where you're used to. Maybe emailing, maybe texting. You know, you've got to stay in touch with customers. That is really, really key. You know, writing letters, writing thank you notes right now, reaching out to people. You can do a lot of things through email construction and, and texting and the words you say and and how you are following up with people with kindness and because right now it's a troubling time. So you can increase and continue your business, you know, if you've got the right structure set up inside. If you already were uh, motoring down the highway, you're not going to stop. It just is a little bump in the road. You know, those little things that go across the highway and kind of bump, bump it a little bit, you know, when you go across it, make it slow down a little bit. It just makes you slow down and take a deep breath. But you still work the plan, plan the work. It doesn't change. My job, my, my gig, day gig or side gigs don't change just because I'm sitting in a, in a house right now versus sitting in an office. So don't use that as an excuse. The second thing you talked about was recession-proof. Now, unfortunately or fortunately, there are recession-proof companies out there. You know, right now I'm doing some work with a company called Harris, Harris uh, Services out of Bloomington, Indiana. They're, they do restoration. Mm -hmm. You know, if you get water in your uh, basement and your water heater, my, ours went bad, and you flood your downstairs basement, they're always going to be available. You know, there's companies like that right now that are recession-proof. It doesn't matter. The economy goes down. Things happen, natural disasters. But you're still going to need companies like that. That's a fortunate thing for those people that work in those kind of, you know, companies that you know, no matter what the economy looks like, what happens, something falls out of the sky, they're, they're still gonna, you're still going to need their services. So, you know, those kind of things like that. Right. So, I, I said you can look at those kind of companies are coming up to the – you know, right now, and they're, and, they're, and they're good because they don't need to get social media involved. They don't need to go out and try to sell something they're not. Believe me, people are calling them left and right right now because if they're having issues with, yep. with, with their housing and stuff, they're still going to see it even if, if, if they don't, uh, you know, even if the economy isn't good right now. So, I mean, from that standpoint. So, yep. um, I think I people agree. need to also refine their uh, – you know, if people haven't utilized their Excel skills, you know, if they haven't used their reporting skills, if they haven't used some things in a while because they didn't need to, now's the time to fine-tune, you know, look at reports, re open back your business plans, re-strategize. We're all doing that right now as the year ends because right now we're looking at 2021 because we know what's going on right now. You're probably looking into 2021. Because you realize that you've got to look ahead. You can't look in the rearview mirror. We yeah. can't stop what we stop with, you know, coronavirus. But what we can do is move ahead. And say, okay, we got this disaster. Now, what do we do? How do we play out? How do we set this up for, you know, three months from now, six months from now, you know, and, and be successful? So I think there's mm -hmm. a lot of ways people can drive. It may not be what you sell today or what you did next Monday, but are you setting yourself up for three Mondays from now, three months? Of Mondays from now, that's what you got to do right now through this through this trying, uh, you know, uh, tumultuous time. Now, I think the the process doesn't change, and I teach the process to where you create a problem that only you can solve. You then condition the market to receive that problem as their own. And then you market the problem, not the solution. That's how I make sales. That's like like with my speaker guide. Like, here it is. This is what this does. This is how you're going to use it. This is what this is. This is what the problem that people have. I solve the problem. Because the number one question and problem I get is, where do I find speaking gigs? How do I get booked? It's like this looming 
it, it's like this looming thing in the speaker world, right? How do I get booked? Like, like what do I got to do? I created a guide for it. <laughs> like, it answered the question. And people have gotten booked like crazy. So it's like you got to listen to what people are telling you about, well, how do I do this? And how do I do this? If you hear three, four, five, six times a week or or a day, you know, people asking the same questions, create a program that solves the problem and people will buy it. Like literally, if you want to create an income stream, figure out what people are dealing with right now, how to solve their problem, and then create something that solves their problem. That's it. Well, I mean, look what's happening right now. All these people have had canceled speaking engagements. Uh, it's not rocket science. How do you replace it? Well, virtually. That's how you replace it. I mean, get on a web out, get on a Zoom call, get on a WebEx, get your – there's ways right now to replace yourself. But why people don't think yep. about that before the fact, they wait until there's a disaster. And instead of being proactive and saying, wait a minute, you don't need to cancel my speaking engagement. I'd be more than happy to do it from, you know, from, from, from home, and we can do it. You know, we can set this up appropriately. We can get the right slides. We can do the right content. And I can deliver the message that you want me to deliver to your group. I can do it from the confines of my home or wherever I'm located in the, in the world. And and that's okay. Yeah. You know, well, as long as people don't want to pay them now, the goods. No. You know, and it's, it's not. And I don't know if it's so much you don't want to pay them now, but obviously everyone has is worth something. Okay. There is something to yep. be said by you know nobody wants something if it's free, and you know, nobody you know it's kind of like selling. If you sell something that's free, nobody wants it, or no, or, or if you sell a gig that's free, nobody comes. Well, it's the same thing. What are you worth? What's the value? Uh, what's the value? And obviously, probably from a distance and more, you know, doing a virtual type of talk, you probably will not, you know, uh, uh, receive or or get, you know, the financial, you know, stick that you want. But but you could be fair and reasonable, and people can work this out. And, and we're all adults and figure out what's best. We all deserve something. You know, it, life doesn't work like that. You just can't do things, you know, a pro bono all the time. None of us would ever, you know, survive in this world. You know, yeah. you, you, you say that, and it reminds okay. me that I've gotten $2,500 clients from being a guest on a podcast. I've spoken at an event for $2,500 and walked out with a 10K gig at another event. The funny thing is about associations, Beautiful. those are all businesses that belong to the association. And that association was looking for speakers, and I spoke there. And the businesses that were there brought me in to speak. I had like four or five different engagements from them alone. And one of the events said, we'll pay you 10 k to come. I'm like, let's do this. It's my highest I've ever been paid, 10 k And, and you, know how, you know why that you was, got that? that? Why did you think you got Because I crushed that? it on stage. Because you crushed it on stage, plus also there's a term, you know, we talk about this a lot, about networking. You use your skills once yeah. you're there, once you're, to network yourself to other it's – not, it's not so much where you're worried about getting that first gig, but once you're there, it opens up doors to other gigs and other opportunities. And people don't know – how to network. They don't know how to put their hand out and say hello and, and go up to people and be proactive. Those are skills. Those are techniques. And to get out of your comfort zone. That's how you make money. That's how you drive things. It's all about networking from one to the second to the third. And you just build this whole base of a foundation of, of people, you know, and clients and customers and friends. And it just goes on and on and on. You yeah, can see I'm yeah, getting hundred percent. And I'm getting, I'm getting fast. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent, as it should be. And, I mean, and I'm listening just, to you. I'm going what, shit. Sorry, I can't say that. Probably, yeah. but you know, I mean, it just makes <laughs> sense how you got that 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 ten thousand dollar gig. You got that ten thousand dollar opportunities because you walked in and you crushed the twenty five hundred dollar. But you also probably networked yourself there, and you talk to people, yep. and you, you know, you there. You have to have a game plan too. That's another thing. 
plan your work, work your plan. You probably didn't enter that stage not knowing that what else is going to come out of this. You know, what else can I get accomplished while I'm there? What else can I, you know, get done while I go and I – there's always a method to the madness. Absolutely. Associations have been my most lucrative area because I was speaking in Virginia at a school bookkeepers association. It was a national convention, large, large, large group of people, huge. Probably it was like 800 people or 700 people or something like that. It was big. They called me up three months later and said, hey, we're having our regional meeting in, in um, Georgia. We belong to Georgia Bookkeepers, and we, wanna, we want you to come speak to our group. So can you do that? And I said, okay, is it a paid gig, you know, whatever. And I like throwing this out sometimes if we're, like, haggling on price or whatever. And I was like, well, look, I'll just have what they're having. Like, if you have other speakers there. Like, well, what is your speaking face? Like, I'll have what they're having, you know, because I always ask them, like, are you paying the other speakers? They're like, yes. I'm like, well, I'll have what they're having. And it works out sometimes. Some, sometimes it's a thousand bucks. Sometimes it's five grand, you know, so, you know, because you don't know what they're actually getting until you get paid. And so they called me up and they said, hey, we want you to be our keynote. Absolutely. I'll do that. I'll be a keynote. And uh, and I did. And they paid me another like 3500 bucks so basically i went one place for 3500 came back spoke to another place for 3500 like two weeks uh, or two months later and i was like this is awesome <laughs> like you know so you the whole point of you going out to the gig is is not only to make a great talk it's to get booked from that talk on exactly other talks right. You just brought, you just got the, the icing was all the additional bookings and all the additional conversations. And it's not even so much if you got booked immediately right after that, 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 that engagement you had, did you set the stage up? Right. Did you say the right things? Did you prime the pump? I love that term. Did you prime the pump? Yeah. Because I, I'm not a short looking kind of guy. I look at long term. Did I prime it? Did I set the stage up so that down the road they would call me potentially? I'm always looking in the distance, always looking in the distance. I mean, it's kind of right now. You, you talk again. I'm thinking back about how do you be successful when you're at home and you're trying to drive your uh, drive sales? Well, first of all, when you get up, you treat the day like you're going to the office. Do you put your coat and tie on? I don't know. Or do you dress up and get ready, get showered up? Do you get up early? Do you do the same things? That, that you would if you weren't, weren't at home. That's what you got to do. Do you still, are you still productive throughout the day? Nothing should change. Your whole structure should stay the same. Regardless if you're at home, regardless if you're wherever you're doing in your, in your career, in your life, you should be following the same steps. That's the key. That's the key to continually be successful during times of crisis. Don't change the direction, the way that you do things from day to day. Uh, and if you, do, if you do that, you'll still accomplish everything you want to accomplish, you know. And the nice thing is, though, 100%. maybe you can turn off at 5 o'clock in the afternoon because you're not in an office, you're not an airplane, you're not flying somewhere. Maybe you can close it down at 5 o'clock and spend that quality time with that family and get ready to go for the next day, get refreshed. But, but every day mm-hmm. should be... The same way when you wake up, you know, what do I have to do today? Don't change your work to plan, plan the work, you know, yep. and, and that, 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 it doesn't change on. So that's why I don't even look at it differently, whether or not I'm sitting here at home or I'm in an office or I'm flying somewhere or I'm on a plane or I'm in a meeting at a, uh, off the plane or I'm getting a rental car going somewhere you can still have the same end results. You can still accomplish it, and you can still drive, drive your sales and your business, and your company can continue to be just as successful during a crisis time like this as it was before. It's all a mindset. It's all your attitude. It's all yep. how you look at things. So, 
hundred percent. So I could go absolutely, on and on. <laughs> absolutely. I could go on and on. I love on. it, man. Did you? Yeah, but you nailed it, though. Nailed it. I mean, this is what people need to hear. This is what's going on right now. And, and by and, the way, and you know, and people are wondering. Like you know, you and I talk like this, and we don't. There's no script here. I, I no idea what, no. what we're gonna. Exactly. There's no script. I just want people to know that that are out there. There's no script here. I did. I'm not reading from something. I'm. 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 I'm, I'm, tell, I'm speaking from the heart. And speaking from experience. Yeah. No. Yes. Speaking that's from the all thing. the mistakes. That's I've the made. thing about my show. Yeah, my show is never scripted. I don't like show like I don't like being a guest on a show that's scripted. I don't, you know. Sometimes you go on a podcast, be like, well, here's our eight questions we're gonna ask you, you know, and uh, and let me know what your answer is gonna be. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to do that. I'll let you know what my answers are when you ask me the question because I could be in a different mood that day. I could be, I could have learned something miraculous because my episode's like three days from now. I could have learned something miraculous that turned my business around. Uh, I mean, I don't know how you can turn it around from good to great, from great to better, from better to the best. And I don't know. But, you know, there's something that I learned maybe. And I applied it. And I'm like, holy crap, this works. You know, or I could have had an epic fail. And I'm like, well, I don't know what I got now. (laughs) You know, you always see that success path is always up and down, up and down, up and down. You know, so uh, right now people are wondering, like, what do I do? You know, I, I, I'm stuck at home. I can't go anywhere. There's no network. There's no meetup events. What do we do? Right? So we got to increase our sales. We have to figure out a way to, to really get quiet right now. And that's important. Some people don't have, some people don't have clients. You know, and they're struggling right now. So, you know, lead generation, sales script, um, you know, email list, marketing, podcast, virtual summit. You know, this is all big right now. I agree with you completely. Yeah, this is what we got to be. This is what we got to be doing. So, I agree what's completely. The best way for someone? So let's talk about something real quick. Um. So you, two books that are available right now, okay, and one of them is called Bigger Than Sales, or, um, yeah, Bigger Than Sales, I think is what that, is what the book is called. I know the other, I know the other one is Everyday Sales Wisdom, because that was the name of the other episode. Uh, Talk about your, your, your newest book. Yeah, I got lucky. Bigger than sales, how humility and relationships build uh, career success. Um, I was fortunate; it went uh, to bestseller uh, on Amazon. I was very, uh, very fortunate, and it is more of an execution book. It's more of how to Good. network, how to build relationships, how to build your personal brand. What happens when your personal brand? Uh, goes down and you got to get back up how to write a personal brand you know developing networking skills and relationship skills and uh, that's kind of that's how that book uh, rolls mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. perfect oh, how does it apply uh, right now that's what that that's a i think that's super interesting how it applies now because you wrote it you know uh, last year, and so how is it going to apply now for the listeners that are listening? Oh, it, it doesn't go away. I don't think it would have been 10 years ago, five years from now, or or currently. Right. You still have got to build relationships. You still yep. have got to understand 100%. how to build a network and those techniques and those tricks and how to get in front of people. It still talks about you know, how you develop soft skills to become more humble and lead through humility and how you talk to someone and the tone of your voice. And uh, I, I think that's what's really important. Uh, so I don't think it, it goes away and dies at all. Uh, it's no different than it was when I started 30 years ago in the business. 
and I don't okay. think it will ever change. Wow. Well, that's good. Uh, so that's what, what I'm saying, saying is, you no. Know, go ahead. Personal branding is a, a big topic in this country right now. Regardless, you know, it, it, you know who your boss is, you know who's promoting you, who's going to give you a raise. Well, it matters what your brand is. And I don't know if people understand mm-hmm. what personal branding is really, but it does matter what other people think. And I think people need to understand that. And, you know, that's why I think actually both books complement each other. Everyday sales was more the the philosophies, the the foundation, the chip as as I call them, you know, life lessons, you know, uh, do what you say you're going to do and do what you say you're going to do it, you know, and, you know, and chip treat business. people get a lot like of they want to be treated. Well, you know, what's funny about chip as is I should have patented it or I should have, uh, you know, done something with it and then put my uh, brand around it because they, all they are is life's lessons. It's something that their behavior changes. So I think both things complement each other. I think what they boils down to, it helps you drive sales. No matter what career you in, you still have to know how to network properly, how to build relationships, how to build your brand, how to understand how to develop the right soft skills in order to drive sales oh, yeah. and get people to buy from you to like people always buy from who they like and lay you know if they like you they buy from you then that builds a trust how to build trust with people and it's all about the relationship the, how you form it you know and you know i just think that's just really really important yeah i agree i agree um so, so One, those things I think tie right in, tie right in because if you're at home right now and it's a reference book, it's a resource. It's you know I ask you to do things at the end of each chapter to really understand: Are you working your plan and planning your work? I want it written down. I want you to, you know, to visualize it and to do it. It's just not hopefully something you read and you forget about later. Right. Yeah, that's that's very important. I was going to say, I think that this is a great guide for somebody right now that's asking the question, like, I need to increase sales. Like, I'm not going to make my rent. Uh, I've heard of I've heard of people trying to just get a job somewhere that is like Amazon put out put out something the other day that said that all of the bars and restaurants that are closing, just have them come work for Amazon until they till they reopen. Like, come work at Amazon. So Amazon's crushing right now. Yeah, everybody's shopping online because <laughs> they can't go to the retail stores. You know, like think about how much toilet paper uh, Amazon's probably shipped in the last, you know, couple weeks. So, you know, they're behind on shipping because that's, that's kind of how it is, you know. Um, but there's always, there's always a way and don't wait till something like this hits to proof the business. You know what I mean? I agree completely with you. So, so for those listening yeah, right now, if you have any questions that. for, yeah, for, for myself or for Chip, you can dial us up at 657-383-1109. Again, the number is 657-383-1109. Chip, I want to send everybody to your website. You can go to Chip Helm, H-E-L-M. Dot com chip helm.com his books are there go ahead and get his books and they will increase your sales especially right now because everybody's online right now uh the fundamentals don't change and what i feel is very important for people to know is yes there will be times that you freak out and yes there will be be dull moments where you know you're hitting constant 10k months and all of a sudden you're down to like a five or a four or a three k month you're like wow what the heck happened just stay at it it's it's never the same it increases it decreases it ebbs and flows but like he said work the plan plan to work just do it just work your plan stay consistent and Listen to what Chip tells you because he's going to increase your sales. If you want him to speak 
to your group when all this is over. Chip's a magnificent speaker. You can speak to your group about increasing sales. And it would be a great topic to have at your next event, whoever you are listening, to hire Chip that talking about what you've learned as a result of having to social distance and shut down and whatever, what did you learn about working online? And I promise you there's going to be a lot of takeaways. You're going to see a lot of online summits and online courses start coming out about how to work um, remotely, how to work during a crisis. Uh, It's all coming. It's all coming. So what do you think, Chip? What do I think? I think the times are changing. I think that uh, you are correct. People have got it. It's going to change. After coronavirus is gone and done, and we'll be moving past this, it will change the world today about online, whether or not it's online training, whether or not it's more virtual meetings, whether or not, you know, people are going to have to face the fact that there are going to be major changes in how we're going to work with people now and how we're going to, oh, yeah. our businesses are going to go forward and how we're going to have to adapt. And I really believe we're going to have to adapt more to uh, other type of ways to drive, whether that is phone and virtual meetings. And, you know, we're going to have to learn how to adjust because, uh, you know, it, it's, it's going to change things. They're going to change how businesses view things. It's going to change how people look at things anymore. But you made a one word that I like. you got to be consistent. And uh, I think you said it better than I did. I went around and around of, you know, you got to get up in the morning and stay the same way. But you've got to be consistent in how you conduct it. So it really doesn't matter if you're in front of somebody or you're a virtual. Uh, you've got to be consistent. And you've got to be consistent in your messaging. And you've got to be ready to – to perform and you got to execute and you can't feel sorry for yourself. Yep. It's going to be okay. The sun does get up. That's another chipism. The sun always will get up the next morning. It will get up. <laughs> Things change, okay? Things change. Sean, I'll teach you more about my chipism. Hey, you know, when you're called chip, you can, you can, you can take that over as chipism, you know? And uh, I love it. I, I love the chipism. Really, 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 really key. Uh, and you want to, it's funny, I'll end like this. You want to treat, you know, the golden rule says treat people like you want to be treated. No, that's not. The chipism rule is treat people like they want to be treated. And the more you treat people like they want to be treated and with kindness and with humility, it's amazing how people will do things for you and want to work with you, not against you. Uh, it will, it will change the whole dynamics of your business too. So. I like that a lot. That's like the love language book by Gary Chapman. You love that person according to how they want to be loved, not how you want to be loved. So exactly. love, love, love what you're talking exactly. about. Exactly. Yep. And by the way, I want to put a little last 35 uh, seconds about this. The guy on here right now, folks, for anybody's listening, I don't care if it's one person we've hopefully impacted, but Sean Douglas is phenomenal. And I'm just telling you one thing. He is what he is. And what it appears, and you'd be so lucky to have him in your uh, either virtual or in your, uh, you know, in your living room. You know, if I was a, uh, if I was been getting recruited right now, I'd want Sean Douglas to come into my living room to recruit me. So there you go. It's as simple <laughs> as that. And you know what? I, I really appreciate that. And I and I and I'd go play for him, and I'd probably run through a brick wall for him. So there you go. He's a great host, a great person, you know, and he's doing some great, phenomenal things. And I can't be thankful enough to just be honored just to have a second opportunity to come back on your show. I really appreciate that, man. I really appreciate it. And, you know, you give out so much great wisdom um, while you while we're, you know, talking about it. You know, I mean, you, man, you give out so much great wisdom and so many people can learn from you and the chipisms and the way that you do it and the books are great I, you know i remember you know the emails i got about the launch you know so great it was it was amazing and uh such great information so 
You're right. It doesn't matter five years ago, ten years ago, five years from now, ten years from now, it's still going to be relevant. Foundation. You got to get the foundations done. You know, you got you got to get fundamentals. You got to get the foundations. You got to know what the hell you're doing. You don't know what the hell you're doing. You're gonna you're gonna fail. That's just that's just it. You know, if you're winging it, it's not going to happen for you. That's just that's just how it is. So connect with Chip. Let him know that you listened to the episode of him on Life Transformation Radio. Go to his website, Chip Helm dot com and his youtube channels there also the previous episode of chip and i last year march 15th of 2019 last year in season three you can go listen to the episode it's absolutely phenomenal i took notes i learned a lot so with that chip i want to thank you for your time i want to thank you for coming on the show once more and i wish you the best during the during the pandemic (laughs) Stay safe, uh, Sean. Stay safe. And keep in touch. Definitely, man. And we're going to talk soon. Oh, yeah. We're going to talk right, soon, man. We're going to do. <laughs> we're going to have a lot of fun we'll together. We'll continue this journey. So, we'll continue this journey. Absolutely. Absolutely. Life Transformation Radio, an amazing guest impacting the world around him. If anything's resonated with our conversation between Chip and I today, connect with him at Chip Helm, H E L M. ChipHelm.com. Get his books. Everyday Sales Wisdom and Bigger Than Sales. I promise you, if you haven't made a sale in a while, these books will get you some sales. And with that, I close the show by saying live your brand. Find opportunities every day to live out the core values that you hold deep in your heart. And I call this living your brand. So until next episode, Live a great life.